The giant soda rocket and the toothpaste eruption. The day began with the warm glow of the sun spilling across the backyard. Birds chirped in the distance and the grass was still wet from the early morning dew. In the middle of the yard, Liam had been working on something unusual for days. It wasn't a normal science project. No, this was going to be a spectacle. The kind of experiment that would make jaws drop. Spread out on a long wooden table were the key ingredients. A massive plastic bottle of Coca-Cola, a bright green bottle of Mountain Dew, a sunny orange bottle of Fanta, and a regular cola bottle. Next to them, sitting in a small bowl, were dozens of shiny white Mentos candies. But in the center of the setup, Liam had placed his secret twist a tube of giant foaming toothpaste mixture he had prepared the night before. Liam had always been fascinated by chemical reactions. He loved how simple everyday items could be combined to create something amazing. But this time, he wanted more than just a soda and Mentos fountain. He wanted to create a rocket one that would erupt with a toothpaste explosion so huge, it would feel like the ground itself was launching foam into the air. He began by inspecting the first bottle the giant Coca-Cola. The dark liquid sloshed around inside as he tilted it gently, checking the pressure. Then, with careful hands, he built a rocket stand from PVC pipes to hold the bottle upright. It had to be stable. A rocket tipping over mid-launch could turn into a disaster. The air around him felt electric with anticipation. Even the neighbors, curious about all the commotion, peeked over the fence. You're not going to blow up the street, are you? One of them joked. Liam just grinned. No explosions today. Just a little science. First, he opened the cap of the Coca-Cola bottle, the hiss of escaping gas immediately filling the air. Quickly, he dropped in a stack of Mentos using a paper roll as a guide. The reaction was instant. A powerful fizz rose up. But before it could spill over... Liam capped the bottle with a nozzle connected to a vertical launcher. Three, two, one, whoosh. The Coca-Cola rocket shot a thick column of soda high into the air, the stream shimmering in the sunlight. The crowd gasped and cheered, but this was just the warm-up. Next came the Mountain Dew rocket. Its bright green liquid contrasted beautifully with the blue sky. This time, Liam added a small amount of his toothpaste mixture to the Mentos before dropping them in. As soon as the reaction began, the foam expanded faster than before, shooting upward in a frothy green geyser that reached nearly twice the height of the Coca-Cola eruption. The Fanta bottle was waiting next, glowing orange like liquid sunshine. Liam decided to get creative. He added food coloring to the toothpaste mixture making it even brighter. When the Mentos dropped in, the eruption was stunning, thick. Orange foam blasted upward like lava from a volcano, catching the wind and drifting down in shimmering bubbles. Finally, it was time for the grand finale, the combination rocket. Lion set up a large plastic tube and poured in the remains of Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, and Fanta together. The mixture swirled into a strange rainbow of colors inside the tube. Into this, he added his strongest toothpaste formula, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, and a touch of baking soda for an extra kick. The final step was, of course, the Mentos. Everyone held their breath as Lion dropped them in and sealed the launcher. For a split second, nothing happened. Then, with a deep hoomph. The reaction exploded to life. Foam shot upward in a massive pillar, swirling with streaks of brown, green, and orange, reaching higher than any of the previous rockets. It was like a giant candy-colored geyser, roaring with energy before slowly falling back to Earth. As the foam began to settle, the backyard looked like it had been snowed on by a rainbow cloud. The grass shimmered with bubbles, and the air smelled sweet, a mix of cola and minty toothpaste. Liam stood back, wiping a streak of foam from his cheek, grinning from ear to ear. 
That, he said proudly, is how you turn a simple experiment into an unforgettable launch. The neighbors clapped, and some even took out their phones to replay the eruption in slow motion. For Liam, the best part wasn't just the explosion itself, it was the wonder in everyone's eyes, the proof that science could be exciting, colorful, and just a little bit wild. And as he cleaned out the foamy remains, Liam was already thinking of his next big idea.